Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to get into another thing with Heptabase on iPad. So we got an, another feature here that I think is pretty cool where you can work with PDFs and highlights on your iPad. So if we want to put a PDF on the whiteboard here, I have a whiteboard open so and it's in dark mode here so it's not actually white but yeah it is what it is. Let's open up the Files app. We will drag a PDF on there from the Files app. That worked pretty well. Boom. Now, if we were to just go ahead and let's get rid of the Files app and let's expand. Actually, instead of expanding the canvas, we can click on the file itself and we can expand the actual card itself here. So with the PDF in it. So we can expand that out, make it bigger. And if we want to do highlights, what we can also do here is um, either we drag and drop our hand and select the text. And if I open it up in the side pane, because now we have this side pane, beautiful side pane here, and we can even resize this thing. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. I did another video about the side pane just the other day. So let's come in here and let's select some text that we can highlight. So we're going to wait a minute. That's the iPad OS menu there, not the highlight. Let me try that one more time. It still did not work. Oh, I know why. It's because you have to use one of these things. You need a mouse in order to do this. So let's go ahead and use the mouse now. I have the mouse set up. We'll select this text here and boom right there we get the the highlighting menu and we can come in here and we can select a color whatever color we want let's go up here and we'll select something else using the mouse and we will select that we will give it an orange color pretty cool and we'll select something else here and we will give it a note and a highlight so let's go ahead a note from iPad pretty cool okay so and one thing to note is if you hit enter on here it's just gonna put in a new line so all you have to do is tap on the screen it keeps the note you do get a little icon here you see can you actually no you cannot expand that out but you do get a little icon right here where my mouse indicator is circling so you know that there's a note there and you can actually see that the color has changed. What we can also do here is we can open this up in the full screen mode, take full advantage of our iPad, especially this 13 inch iPad. We can come in here and we can use the mouse again to come in here and select some text and we get that highlight again. So boom, there we go. So it is a little finicky with the mouse and selecting the right text on here, but it works in general. So this is pretty nice little addition that you can do on the iPad. So now you don't have to worry about going straight to your desktop and to be able to do annotations or even see the annotations. So if we went into the highlights, you would even see those here in the highlights. We, that top one is that PDF. There are the highlights and we can select those and we can add notes to them from here. You can also come in here and you can delete them from here as well. So pretty straightforward stuff. Nice feature to have on the on the iPad now. They're really making it much more feature rich on the on the iPad and making it as close as possible to your desktop so you can work with Heptabase on your tablet this also works on android as well i have tested it there on my galaxy s9 ultra it does work again you will need a mouse to get that going but hey if you have a mouse you have a keyboard you can select things on this on your pdfs do some highlighting and add some notes to them from your tablet device all right, that's going to be it for this video. If you like the content on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.